Good morning, everybody. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Wednesday morning. Finally, okay, finally machine is here. Uh, I tried out a little bit last night. It does, it does work, okay, so that's a good thing. Uh, the one before, we got the rocket well, a couple weeks ago. Unfortunately, during the transit, uh, some, something happened, so it didn't work. So, and uh, I think at that time, I asked you guys, you guys want to see the rocket again, or you guys want to see something new? And, uh, you know, I know you guys spoken, you guys want something new. So now, so this is the quick meal uh, Vertrino 2B. Okay, 2B means a dual boiler. So this one has, you know what, let's show you. Okay, let's take a look. So this is really cool machine. So by the way, I'm gonna big shout out to Joe at Espresso Outlet. So, so this is not a sponsored video, anything like that. Joe was nice enough. Okay, here's what happens. Over the years, I reached out to various coffee companies so I can get some loaners for the, our channel. And then Joe was nice enough to, so Joe was stepped up, okay? So Joe stepped up a couple of months ago. He asked me, when you, you, like, you, know, you want me to send you, you know, so you can, you know, play on your channel. I say yes. So, so that's how uh, this has come about. So I'm going to have this motion for maybe a month or so, okay? Month or less. And uh, during that time, we are going to test it. And also we are going to compare with our uh, Bra uh, Bravo Brista Express and Pro. And I know we are comparing apple to orange, okay? I know some, uh, some of your viewer mentioned, but it is apple to orange, but we are talking about coffee making, okay? Doesn't matter if you are spending $100 on coffee machine or $10,000 on coffee machine, still we are going to make the same coffee. So let's find out how much difference between so this is about three grand or so, okay? Plus minus a couple hundred bucks there. So it's around three grand. And then obviously our entry level machine is around between, you know, six and eight hundred dollars there. So big difference, but is there a big differ difference in taste? Okay. And so uh, today I'm just going to show you uh, what this machine is. Okay. So kind of like, uh, kind of I'm going to talk about the features and, you know, and then also we are going to pull the shot. Uh, I do have a bottomless portal filter, so you're going to see the, hopefully we're going to get some beautiful shot, okay? And uh, let's not forget, so this machine is not a vibrator pump, so this is actual rotary pump, so extremely quiet as well. So, okay, you know what? Enough talking, and then let's take a look, okay? Okay, I'm just going to unveil this. So I've been warming it up for last, what, at least uh, 45 minutes. So this is one downside of kind of like the, any kind of dual boiler machine or heat exchange, you have to warm it up. All right, so it looks pretty nice. Okay, looks. Okay, so here's my concern with my setup here. Unfortunately, this is the only space I have. I'm right next to stove, okay? So whenever I, I'm, not, I'm not using it, I need to cover it. So what, that's the one downside of it. But other than that, look at, look at this. This thing is a thing of beauty. And also, you, you guys might like this. I know some of you might like this or some of you may not, but I'm just gonna turn back on here. This is a little switch on the bottom. Uh, look at the side panels. That was an LED light. Okay, as you can see there, let me shut the light up here in my kitchen. Yeah, so it has a nice LED light. So nighttime is pretty, I mean, it's fun to look at. Okay, let's put it that way. So right now, all the grip heads are nice and hot. Okay, so you have two buttons there. So this is the brewing button, the steam. Uh, you know what, let's turn back on the steam here. Okay. And we are going to, uh, let, let's make some milk based drink this morning. So they have, uh, obviously they have two PID set up. The first number you see, hold on a second. So, so that is uh, your boiler temperature for the steam. Temperature should go up. And the another number you're going to see there, 199, that's the brew temperature, okay? So that is from the, uh, uh, your water. So. I'm gonna turn around for you how quiet this machine is. That's it. 
the extreme require. And uh, this one has also a shot time as well. So I'm going to start the lever up and the shot time kicks in. And then what else is there? Pretty much. So this one is an option to have flow control. Okay, you can add flow control if you wanted to. So we have a 198. So I set at a 200 for the brew temperature and the 254 for the, the steaming. So also you can actually adjust it pretty easily. And then uh, here's a water tank. Okay. So here's the issues with my kitchen. I mean, this is way on the back there. So you have to actually move the machine to get into your water tank there. So water tank is not bad. That's pretty decent size. But great thing about the Rory pump, you can actually plumb it. Okay, you can, this is plumbable. So, uh, I mean, if you are thinking about having a machine for your like in you know, a coffee counter, perhaps if you have like coffee area at your home, make sure definitely, you know, thinking about getting a plumbable machine, which means Rory pump. That's very nice addition as well. Okay. All right. And uh, so let's see here. Uh, you know what? Let's make some coffee. Okay. Let's make some coffee. But meantime, I need to wait. Uh, I'm going to wait a tiny bit. So I want to, but okay, here. Uh, another thing is, so this uh, steam one is not hot, okay, because it has the kind of cool tech, it's got cool tech, uh, cool tech, tech uh, technology or something. So you uh, coat uh, steam one there so it doesn't get burned yourself, but you do not want, you do not want to touch the group pad. They are extremely hot right now. So let me show you the quick uh, steaming power. So this one comes with two options. Uh, this one has a two steam, two hole uh, steam one, and also you can get, uh, they have another one in, inside the box somewhere, has a four steam, uh, the four holes. So and then let's see here, obviously there's the pedal there, uh, hot water faucet. So this is obviously E61 group head, and the, all the over uh, pressure come out from that, uh, uh, that's the, the spot right there as well. Okay, what else? Uh, pretty much it. A uh, very simple machine. So you have an option to shut off your steamer. I um, mean, if you don't like, you know, if you don't use milk-based drink much, you can always shut it off. And then what else? And it comes to size. Man, that is a lot bigger than my Express, even Rocket as well. I mean, pretty deep. Okay. Very shiny though. So, so that's the gauge right there. One is the, uh, let's see, brew gauge. Uh, you know, nine bar, you know, they give you a different bar pressure there, uh, pump pressure. Uh, uh, and so that is the, your uh, brewing uh, pressure inside the boiler as well. Okay, um, so here's the hot water. By the way, this hot water is really, really hot though. Okay, I'm just gonna show you guys some little demo. Man. Now his pumps kicked in. You know what, I'm gonna see the water temperature. Goodness, it's pretty hot guys. So this one is coming from the boiler. Extremely hot. All right, so let's make some coffee, okay? Let's make some coffee after that. And then uh, uh, let's uh, talk about the machine. Let's see what else. By the way, if you are new to the channel, uh, welcome to our daily live streaming. Uh, we go daily around eight o'clock in the morning. Uh, some days not, but again, uh, so pretty much this is uh, unscripted. Um, I don't usually plan for our daily show here. We just, you know, make some coffee and we chit chat and, you know, trying to come up with, you know, different coffee recipes and, you know, any kind of coffee, any kind of coffee related, we talk about it. By the way, uh, 
make sure you press like on the video right now and also you know get to know each other okay we have you know, we have a few people on the chat room right now so introduce yourself we have a great community of people great coffee lovers so yeah i mean that's what we talk about we talk about coffee that's it okay and it, it's a lot of fun okay it's a lot of fun okay someone asked me which model this is so this is a quick meal uh, vertrano 2b okay which means dual boiler so you can get some more information on espresso outlet i'm going to put the link down below one when we are done with it again uh big thanks to joe to the lent us the machine okay he's not giving it to us he's just loaning us the machine by the way by the way man so this one has a 220 so so i have an adapter here so 220 to 110 adapter so if you have a 220 set up at home one ever turn the machine on so so boy so you got i guess two boilers so both boiler at the heat at the same time okay so that's the great thing about using 220 but with the 110 like we have uh is actually do one at a time so start with the boiler first you know brewing boiler first and then once you up to the temperature and then start heating up the uh, steamer so if you are thinking about getting dual boiler down the road at home make sure or uh, get a heavy electrician out there set up the 220 man you're gonna have much better experience all right so let's see here you know what let's let's pull the shot so i have i'm gonna be using this is i just uh bring it out okay by the way someone asked me about the how to store uh coffee on the freezer so i uh so i got this one a couple weeks ago i put it into freezer okay right away and i didn't wrap it just like this just uh unopened it and that just thought out this morning so i got 19 gram here so let's see okay let's see what kind of shot we're gonna get comes to dialing in i have not dialed in yet so i have no idea what's the grinder size i'm just gonna set at number 10 for now okay i'm gonna set up at number 10. I'm actually excited to have that shot timer too. I'm just going to heat up my, again, the PID set at 200 Fahrenheit. Uh, I'm just going to flush. Okay. The water tray is pretty big as well. It's a large water tray. So, I mean, I like that. Okay. So, Let's prepare the shot here. Okay. So I'm using the, uh, so this is more like 18 gram baskets, but I'm using 19 gram because, so this is more like medium to light roast. So I, I know I can fit more in there. Okay, so this is 58 millimeter pore filter, so. It's going to be fits nicely. I don't have to use special dosing funnel for this. Okay. And then uh, I'm just going to use my little bit of WDT here. Not too much. But I do need to bring my uh, dosing funnel though. Okay. I'm just going to do light WDT here. Okay. I'm just going to distribute. Okay, so this is uh, the black party from the 58 millimeter from San Anton industry. Man, it looks pretty good, very clean. All right, so let's pull the shot. So this is, okay, so 199, that's fine. I'm just gonna lock it in. Since we have the shot time, I'm just gonna wait the shot. Okay. You know, you got to see it first here. Okay, hold on. And I'm going to do a little bit of pre-infusion before. Okay. I'm just going to a little bit of pre-infusion, just lift level a little bit, like so. Right now we are pre-infusioning right now. 
like you can see I'm just gonna lift about nine bar pressure right there as you can see yeah shot looks pretty good oops man look at that guys a lot of crema there wow i got 43 gram i need to work on my wdt okay for sure it's make a big mess but yeah overall shot quality is very quiet looks pretty good Okay, looks pretty good. Okay, so let's give it a try. Okay. Okay, so this is a light to medium. Let's find out, okay. So I set a 200 Fahrenheit, so. Cheers. Man, it's bitter, okay. The shot is a bitter there. I felt like over extracted. Yeah. So right now I'm at uh, 200. So uh, I'm gonna pull another shot, okay? And then maybe like tomorrow, uh, I'm gonna do some more studying on this. <laughs> but by the way, there's no manual for this, okay? I did not see any manual. So uh, I'm gonna get some manual from the website. And then let's try to figure it out the, the best way. And then uh, I think uh, tomorrow morning, I'm gonna show you guys how to change the temperature on this. So let's dial it in properly, okay? So let's dial it in properly uh, uh, whenever we're doing the shot. But meantime, uh, let's do another shot. And then let's see here. And then let's make some latte, okay? You know what, latte or flat white all depend on how my milk comes out, but yeah. So I'm really looking for, hey, by the way, we have a hundred people on right now. Goodness. I think this is first, I think. 100 people, 98, go down to 98. Yeah, this is fantastic, okay? Again, thanks to you guys for supporting us over the years. Uh, make sure press like, okay? We only have 25 people like this video. And uh, uh, let's see here, uh, let's get going. Okay, you know, let's take, puck is nice and clean. Okay, I like that. Okay, come out pretty nice. I'm just gonna flush. Let's clean it up here. Oh man, this thing is extremely hot. Okay. So if you have a young kids at home, this is not a good machine. Okay, just make sure, if you have a young kids, make sure watch your kids. All right. So last one is over extracted. So what I'm gonna do is, because I wanna go a little faster, so I'm gonna change my grinder size a little bit. Maybe 11, okay. I have um, uh, another dose ready to go. Okay. All right, let's get going here. And at some point, I'm going to bring out the, my niche grinder too. So uh, let's compare uh, both. Okay, I'm going to compare with the DF64 and also uh, compare with the niche with Quick Meal. So, I mean, we got a lot of things to cover the next couple of weeks. Okay. I'm really looking forward to that one. Okay, I'm gonna get my milk ready here. You know what, let's do a little uh, small milk based drink, okay. I do enjoy a little latte, so. Okay, so let's pick out the cup. So this is a little, you know what, let's go with. Hola. Let's go to Rob Ramek cups, okay? So this is one of my favorite cups. So let's do Rob Ramek. You know what, let's do this. Uh, let's do pull the shot and uh, steam the milk at the same time. So I mean, that's why, that's the great thing about the dual boiler, you can do that both. So, so let's do, 
both. Okay, I'm going to steam the milk and steam it, uh, brew at the same time. Okay. I'm just now, I'm just gonna do a little WDT here, more like puck rake, use the puck rake. So I'm going to be yield about, let's see, so this is 19, around 40 gram. Okay. Get out my cup. Okay, let's take a look guys. Maybe I can give you guys a better view. Hopefully we can get it right. Okay. All right, hold on, hold on a second guys. Okay. I'm just gonna set my scale. I'm just gonna lift. I'm shooting for 140 at two, oh, 17 seconds, which means they are too, too coarser. Okay, and then just wipe it clean here. I'm just gonna. All right, I got 40 grams. So again, I need to make the little, bam, oh, look at this though. The, man, look at that. This, it does really good job here. So let's do some latte art. This is more like flat white today. Yeah, something like that. It does look, it works pretty good. Okay. I mean, you can actually steam and the brew at the same time. By the way, is how many, how many of you are out there the brew and steam at the same time? I think that's the reason why most people have the dual, uh, dual boiler. Again, the great thing about dual boiler, uh, temperature stability. Okay. You can control the temperature pre pretty accurately because obviously the two boilers so it's a lot more stable than heat exchange for sure anyway cheers guys man wow okay not bad actually it's quite nice okay so by the way I did order some uh, Ethiopia coffee beans uh, from a couple roasters up in Seattle so uh, I got a, let's see, I had orders from our friend from Mira Coffee. So they do a really good job on lighter roast. So I ordered some coffee from them. So she'll be here by, hopefully by end of this week. So let's uh, dial, uh, dial in some uh, light roast as well. And at some point I'm going to order some like, uh, there's a lot of specialty coffee, great roasters throughout the country. So I'm going to be ordering some uh, more coffee beans too. So. So let's find out how good this machine is upcoming weeks, okay? It's gonna be a lot of fun. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, by the way, uh, goodness, we have over 100 people, guys. Make sure to press like on the videos. And I know someone asked me about the espresso. Comes to machine-wise, okay, it's all about the beans. If you have like high-end machines, most likely you guys have a good techniques anyway because you guys understand what good espresso tastes like. So it's not the machine, oh, it's not the machine anymore uh, by this time. It's all about the, what kind of coffee beans you guys are getting, okay? So once you get the good coffee beans, and if you uh, dial it in a little bit, and you are going to get 
you know, wonderful, wonderful shot there. By the way, so I think today, uh, starting yesterday, actually, uh, in Asia right now, in Korea and China, there's the, uh, uh, the moon, uh, Harvest Moon Festival right now. So this was my best time of the year when I was growing up in Korea. So I'm going to big shout out to friends over there, my family members. I know you guys are taking a few days off, the last few days. So anyway, uh, let's see here. Oh, goodness. Uh, Linda, uh, shout out to Linda. She's going to send me some coffee beans from Onyx. Great. Thanks, Linda. So, uh, by the way, so there's a couple of different ways to support this channel, okay? Obviously, one of you see my uh, distribution link has the, all the Amazon link there. You, whenever you buy from Amazon, I get a small uh, commission out of it. And also, I, I've been uh, affiliated with the Fellow. Okay, Fellow Coffee makes beautiful uh, coffee gears and Fellow stack and Monte cups. So whenever you use my referral link, okay, referral link. And I do have a discount code for you as well. So whenever you guys use my referral link and code, you guys get a 10% off. So. And also I got a, a little bit of referral fees too. So I mean, that's two a uh, couple of different ways to support the channel. But you know what? The best way to support this channel is just watch my videos, okay? And also you know, we're trying to build a good community here right now. So oh, shout out to Marshall for super chat. So, so far we raised over $800 guys, more like $810 exact. So, so plan is I'm gonna try out the, these machines uh, from Espresso Outlet. And then I'm going to pick one, okay? And then definitely you guys are going to be involved. So raise from you guys through about 1,000 from Super Chat, Super Sticker, and PayPal. And then I'm going to match that with another 1,000. And then I'm going to get a, some kind of sponsorship. Maybe talk to Joe. Maybe he can match another 1,000 from him. So get a, like $3,000 coffee machines. So that's, that's how it goes. So, so far, I'm pretty impressed with quick meal okay all right it's not bad but there's a lot of great machines out there so we got the rockets fantastic we got the Lillette Bianca is also great we got the ECM we got Bozero goodness we have tons and tons of great machine and the price range but we are talking about three thousand dollars okay I, I don't know how many of you are out there goodness I mean, that, I think that's not another reason I like to do the comparison between Express and $3,000 coffee machine. Because the bottom line is, you know what? It's about making coffee, okay? So I know it's going to be better. Using this machine is better. I mean, no doubts. But the real question is how much better? You know what I mean? So, I mean, that's the one thing I, I mean, I'd, I'd love to find out for you. Okay, I'd like to find that for you. By the way, how many people likes this uh, LED lights? Okay. okay, let's, you know, this LED lights you guys see here, this lights, and you can actually turn it up as well if you don't want to. Yeah, how many people likes it? Yeah, let me know in the comment section. Man, I, I don't know guys, because I'm so used to, you know, playing with my uh, Bravo Express and Pro. I mean, this thing is really, I mean, I, I, it doesn't fit right in my kitchen. Let's put it that way. Okay. It doesn't fit. I mean, this one is more like you need to have like beautiful, you know, coffee bar somewhere in your house, specially dedicated to, you know, your coffee. But yeah, I mean, just fit into my kitchen here. Looks a little odd, but hey, it, it is big. I mean, it is definitely big. So, so we are going to play with this for today. So today is Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And this is Saturday. Let's do a big comparison. Okay. I'm going to be uh, side by side with, I'm going to put the express right here. I'm going to put the express right here. So let's do some uh, side by side comparison. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Okay. Uh, it's going to be happening on Saturday. Okay. Uh, cook for coffee. Yeah, we are going to compare that on Saturday morning. Uh, okay, so Jimmy asked, does it have PID? Yes, uh, it has PID built in here. You can change the temperature pretty easily. Hold on, let me flip. So you can actually change the, uh, so right now 255 is the your uh, brew temp, I'm sorry, the steamer temperature, steaming. 200 is the uh, brew temperature. So you can actually change up and down. So. So that's pretty cool. 
So you can actually dial some really precise temperature as well. So this is when, so now we have the kind of like appliance type of coffee machines. Okay, they make fantastic coffee. But now we are going to make some really interesting flavor uh, from espresso. Okay, not just, uh, just, you know, we are talking about the dialed in that get the right extraction. So bring out the, all the free notes, sweet notes on espresso. Yeah, I mean, it's gonna be, it's gonna be interesting. Okay, I can't wait to play with. Okay, hold on a second. Okay, someone asked, NSY, our US price for dual boiler is so high, about $1,000 more. You know what, I'm not sure, okay? I know if you are talking about the, the Bravo, the dual boiler, if you are in like Australia, that's a lot cheaper than US, okay? I think you can get for around like 700 bucks or so, seven or $800 in Australia for a dual boiler. But yeah, I mean, uh, this country, you are looking about what, 15 to $1,600? So, let's see here, you got Marshall, trip to break, if you, okay, let's see here. Okay, trip to, ah, Mar Marshall made a great point, okay? Since I'm using the one circuit right there, so if I'm gonna use the both machine, Marshall is mentioned, but I might break the circuit. So what I'm gonna do is uh, on Saturday, I'm going to get an extension core. I'm gonna have another, yeah, so another outlet so I don't trip that breaker. Yeah, you got a great point. Yep, great point. Okay, let's see here. Cooker for coffee. Wait, Carlos asked, uh, you're you gonna do the pressure test on quick meal. I don't have to do the pressure test because this one shows the bar pressure. It's about nine bar pressure. So yeah, I mean, it does work. I mean, it does, I checked it out. So yeah, the, uh, that comes with a nine bar. And also, uh, side of the, this machine has a little screw, a hose there. You can uh, change the pressure I mean, so easily by just screwdriver, okay? You don't have to do anything. You don't have to open up the back. It's just a uh, just simple screwdriver. You can change the pressure. So that's a great thing about the machine like this. So easy to get to. All right, let's see what else. I think, I think we are pretty good this morning. Uh, comes to shot quality. Okay. So this is, a, actually this is a medium roast, okay? From Good Brothers Coffee there. Uh, Great for milk-based drink. Comes to plain espresso. I like the lighter roast. So that's what we're gonna do. Uh, let's see. I, I, I'm, I'm getting some Mira coffee soon. And also I know Linda's sending me some, the Onyx coffee as well. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. Okay, anyway, uh, make sure to follow me on Instagram as well, okay? Uh, if you haven't followed me on Instagram, make sure to do so. Because you think this is casual? My Instagram is a lot more casual than this. It's a lot of fun there. I, I usually have some people on. And if you guys want to just join the chat, just feel free to do so. Okay, so what, what's the price tag on this machine? If you go to Espresso Outlet, their price on it, but last time I checked, uh, it's around $2,700, okay? Uh, it's about $27. Uh, I think it has a discount going on right now, so. Man, you know, uh, by the way, how many of you and are willing to spend three thousand dollars on coffee machine, okay? And uh, I mean, I mean, love to hear from you, okay? Just let me know in the comment section. Yep, he popped and said no. Nope. Let's see. I'm looking at, and the uh, marshal say he has a white light on it. <laughs> okay, so yeah, yeah. Let me know. I mean, goodness, we got about hundred people watching us right now. Yeah, how many people willing to spend three grand on coffee machines? We got the uh, John say yes. We got the MS say yes. Okay, hold on. I'm just gonna looking at your question. Okay, we got the EC. Okay, yes, nope, not. Uh, Kelly's not. Okay. Cooker for coffee, nope, not his wife. Let's say nope. KH say no. Uh, Eduardo say yes. Eduardo, you got the Lydia Mini, so yeah. Okay. Justin say check engine light on. Okay. Okay, we got Steve say R58, okay. Okay, Marshall, he did already. Uh, let's see here, we got Richard say yes. 
just a 1500 tops i don't know what that is let's see here okay we have someone say i wish okay man okay let's see so you know what i i know some of you will say yes but you know most of you watching this i mean you guys own most likely express or pro at home man i don't know okay i mean unless the coffee is your hobby but we are talking about serious hobby okay serious hobby i mean i don't think i can for that okay personally the reason why i have i got this machine because my youtube channel you know because i cannot it's i don't know personally i don't yeah it's kind of like this is very personal okay it's personally it's hard to justify telling your wife i'm telling my wife that hey i'm going to spend three thousand dollars on coffee machine okay it's not three grand though three grand plus we have to buy grinder okay so you're more like thirty five hundred bucks thirty five hundred dollars Okay, by the way, I had a check engine light on my car a couple of days ago, so it's going to cost me a little. So, yeah, goodness. Let's see here. Okay, Facebook Marketplace. So ad mentioned about the Facebook Marketplace dual boiler for $1,200, okay? Oh, by the way, uh, niche. Okay, if you guys are looking for niche, uh, zero copy grinder, they're going on pre-sale right now, okay, today. I think it's a 10... 10 a.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time, I think. So if you are looking for, uh, if you are looking for niche grinder, m make sure to check out their website. Okay. And the Carlos say for consistency, he will pay three grand. Goodness, man, Carlos, way to go, buddy. The three thousand. Okay. Let's see here. Carl dimension watch. Okay, sooner or later we will be. Sooner or later, you will be hooked. But, so I think that's the another reason um, I am comparing with entry-level coffee machines. I know, I think, I think some, of, uh, some of you made a comment yesterday about why you want to compare with Express. I mean, this is why, okay? So, I mean, this is why that, because I'm trying to make a point across that, hey, you don't have to buy $3,000 coffee machine to make a great coffee. I mean, that, that's, my, that's what I'm hoping, okay? That's what I'm hoping, so. Okay, hold on a second. Kelly mentioned about something there, Eduardo. Okay. You know, I mean, Eduardo makes sense, okay? If someone, I mean, if you guys are into traveling, you cannot travel because of Kobe, so yeah. Use that money to spend money on coffee is not bad. That's a pretty good idea as well. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a wonderful morning. Okay, make sure to press like. And that, that was a great session, guys. So tomorrow we're gonna have some more fun. Okay, tomorrow tomorrow, tomorrow morning, uh, let's play with uh, water temperature tomorrow. Maybe we can dial in. Right. Okay. So right now, okay, for this couple shots I made, this uh, small latte here. So this one versus my uh, Brisa uh, Express, you know what, it's, it's, yeah, it's not a game changer, okay? It's not that huge difference. But, but once you start dialing the light roast with the precise water temperature, I think that, uh, that's the when this motion is going to shine. So again, okay, if you are into milk-based drink, uh, you know what? I don't know. You know what? Let's talk about that uh, Saturday morning. Okay, Saturday morning. Again, if you are just new to the channel, just joining us, we just unbox and uh, take a look at the Quick Meal Vitrano 2B. That's the dual volume machine there. So uh, Saturday morning, just make sure to tune in. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna have some really fun comparison, Express versus this. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. Okay, and uh, I'm gonna see you guys on my Instagram right now. And then if not, I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow morning. Oh, hold on. We have a super chat, a super sticker from Stephen. Okay. I think, I think it's Stephen from Malaysia, I think. Thanks to that. Okay. I'm going to.